Hi guys, it's me again, Eva. I just filmed this makeup look. It's for official practice at competitions. If you want to know how to achieve this makeup look, keep on watching. <laughs> so let's get started. First, um, what I like to do before competition or the day before competition, I like to use my oils so my skin is very hydrated and the makeup is not as like cakey. So I've already done that and now I will go into my foundation to build a smooth canvas. I will take a beauty sponge because I like using it and it's like easy to move it around and yeah, I just like the texture of it. But you can use whatever you want, like a, a makeup brush or there are also these silicone things, but I like this little beauty sponge. I'm sorry, it's very dirty. <laughs> Also, when competing, you don't want to like put on light makeup because the arena is so big, so everyone will be able to see things, so you have to do it big and so don't be skimp with the makeup and just put a lot on because you will need it. <laughs> So as you can see, my makeup is already gone, so I have to put on some more. In my opinion, the makeup looks very orange at first when you put it on. Like just the makeup, it looks re really weird, but you have to put on yeah, some brows and some contouring, also bronzer and I don't know, rouge, so then it will look more alive and not just like, like me. <laughs> also, I like to blend down my neck because I don't want the ugly like makeup line. I think we can all agree that <laughs> that's not what we want. Okay, almost done. Only my eyes and my nose are left. And then we can move on to the next step. Okay, and we're done. Yeah! So, the next thing I like to do is put on concealer. Mine is pretty empty, but I like this a lot. It's from Catrice. And I use it also like on daytime, but also competitions, I really like it. And we use it to highlight and to cover some of our blemishes, if you have some. That's where I like to put my concealer. And I'm seeing right now I missed a spot with my makeup. So I have to go over it. Yes, I think the under eyes are really important to conceal because you want them to be bright and not see your dark, dark circles, not your bags under your eyes. Yeah. Also, of course, this is the first step of highlighting, for example, the bridge of my nose because then after it, I would go over it with the highlighter and I like to use a lot during competition time. Okay, the next thing I like to do is put on some powder to set my face so that I am not shiny in the right places and then I will put on highlighter that I'm shiny in the right places. So I will just put it on with this sponge. I know it's 
really dirty. I'm so sorry, but I didn't have time to wash them. Sorry. <laughs> Setting my concealer under the eye because my skin gets really oily there. Also, my nose a little bit and up here in the T zone. Yes, perfect. That's all I like to do with a powder. I know a lot of people like putting it all over the face, but I'm trying to put it just there where I need it. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is put on some rouge. It's very pink, as you can see, and I'm doing this with this Real Techniques brush. And as I said, um, it's competition time, well, official practice, but you don't wanna like put on a little, you wanna put on a lot, so everybody can see it. Not only the people in the front row, but also the people in the back. Also, I don't want to be a professional makeup artist or something. I'm just a girl that likes to do makeup and I'm trying to show you what we as Sweet Mozart do at competitions. And now I'm like brushing a little bit over it with this fluffy brush because maybe it's a little too harsh and I want it to be like a lot but like gentle, <laughs> if that makes any sense. And that's it for rouge. The next thing I'm doing is contouring or bronzing it up a little bit so I'm not looking as pale and dead as I'm looking right now. I will take the Hoola bronzer from Benefit. I really like it because it's not that orangey looking and also I like the the pigmentation of it. First I will use it to contour my cheekbones right there and I'm doing like this weird kissing mouth or fishy mouth, I don't know. So I will see my my lines, my cheekbones better. Also, as you can see, I'm not only like doing this line but also like try to move it a little bit around so it looks more natural and not like this harsh line but like soothing it in gently so it looks more like a like a natural heavy makeup look. <laughs> I don't know if I make any sense but I hope you know what I mean. Okay, now I'm going to contour a little bit of my forehead that it doesn't look that big and let my face get a little bit of dimension. So right there. It's very different where people like to contour their face, but I personally like it if I'm doing this right now. Just gives me an extra bit of bronze and as I said dimension. Next thing I like to contour is a little bit on my jawline so it looks more sharp and I don't have a um, double chin. <laughs> At least I hope I don't have one. Also a little bit of my neck. So it's like more in unison with my face makeup. Yeah, and I know this brush is broken, but <laughs> I don't have any money to buy a new one. <laughs> well, yeah, now I'm also going in, like over my face with this fluffy brush again because I just like it to be 
everything combined with each other. Okay, the next thing I'm going to contour is my nose, at least a little bit of my nose. So I'm taking this brush now, it's from Zoeva. And I'm just going a little bit on my nose so it looks a little slimmer. <laughs> yeah. That's it for contour. The next thing I like to do is put on a little bit of eyeshadow. Just a little bit, not like crazy amount of eye eyeshadow. Because it's official practice and you want to look presentable, but not like boom you know what I mean <laughs> yeah so I will take this brush again it's from Soeba and a con uh, uh, eyeshadow palette from Naked I will just go into like some neutral colors as you can see <laughs> this one is pretty empty so I will go and use this one just put it in the crease of my eye blend it out and just move around the eyeshadow a little bit that it's gentle but it's there okay and I will do the other eye with the same eyeshadow and then I will go on with another eyeshadow I hope you also like my kitty cat ears. <laughs> I actually bought them for um, my like graduation um, trip because there was a crazy night and I bought them for for it. But now I'm just using it to do my makeup every day. <laughs> I think they're pretty cute. Okay, that's it for the first eyeshadow. Then I know it sounds pretty weird, but I really like to go into my bronzer and use it as an eyeshadow because I think it reflects the contour, like the color of the contour in my eyes again. So I will go in with the same brush again and also like just um, yeah, work it in and I will just show you. <laughs> also, don't forget to blend with your eyeshadow. That's really important. And now I will do the other side. Perfect. As you can see, it's nothing crazy or something it's just a little bit of eyeshadow and I also like to go like a little bit under my eye I don't know why I just like it <laughs> if I'm feeling crazy that day I would add a little bit of like gentle shimmer on my eye but I won't do that as you can see it's really nothing special or anything it's just basic things okay now I'm going to do my brows I know it's weird that I'm doing my eyeshadow but not then my eyeliner or eyelashes but I like this yeah just jumping around <laughs> so I will do my brows now ah, found it <laughs> that's a um, little brush I brush my eyebrows with so I will just go over it and my very little eyebrow pencil yeah it's almost done i have to buy a new one again i like to start at the back of my brows and i think brows are very important because so many emotions um, are transported through your brows and your eyes so it's very important that you can really see those 
Also, I like to get um, darker on the ends and lighter in the front. So it doesn't look as harsh on the front. And on the very front, as you can see, I'm drawing like these small lines. And now I'll brush it out with my little eyebrow brush again so it's more natural in the front. Okay, almost done with the one brow. Okay, done with the first brow. Now we'll go on and do the other one the same as this one. Or at least all is the same. Because eyebrows are not twins, they're sisters, as you say. <laughs> Okay, I think that's fine. Good. That's it for my brows. It's nothing special, it's just drawing them with an eyebrow pencil so they look more intense. Okay, the next thing I will do is put in some eyeliner and yeah, I'm not a pro at eyeliner, so <laughs> excuse me. I will just try. I'm very bad, actually. <laughs> and I have to take my little mirror. one eye done. I don't like to do a wing personally because I tend to mess it up so I'm just leaving it that way. But at competitions if we have like a free skate makeup or a short program makeup where we have like big eyeliners the girls help each other to do a good eyeliner that looks good on, on the eyes and of course also <laughs> from the air. <laughs> okay, I'm done with the eyeliner. I know it looks not that good, but as I said, I'm not really good at doing eyeliner. Okay, the next thing I will do is put on some mascara. Um, for uh, official practices, we don't do eyelashes usually, we just put on mascara, so I will do that. First, I will also curl my eyelashes, so it's easier for me to do my um, mascara. Also, our official practice makeup is like pretty open, so everybody can like do their natural makeup and if they want to put on some highlight, they can, if they want to put on some rouge, they can, but some girls don't like to, but you like have to look presentable and yeah, good. <laughs> we always look good, no, just kidding. <laughs> I don't at 6 a.m. at practice on Sunday morning, if I'm honest. Okay, I will do my mascara. Oh, shoot. Yeah. That happens sometimes. <laughs> guys I'm back <laughs> and I will do my second eyelash hopefully without any incident we'll see I think mascara faces like when you put on mascara 
They were so funny. I think I'm looking really dumb, but I think everybody does. So I'm looking like at the beauty gurus on YouTube. They're also looking like normal human human being and not like beautiful. Also, I like to do a little bit on my lower lash line, so it just doesn't look like I have like, this huge eyelashes on the top and nothing on the bottom. So just a little bit. Okay. Good. That's it for mascara. And now I will put on some highlight, as I said, I like a lot. And I'm starting with this highlight stick from Kiko. I'm just highlighting my, my cheekbones, like the highest point of my cheekbones. And um, I don't know how you call that in English. The, the upper lip. <laughs> And my nose, the bridge of my nose, and yeah, that's it. Just tap it on. Um, I will put on this highlight with this Soeva brush again. I like Soeva, as you can tell. Okay, so I'm again starting the highest point of my cheek. Then this thing. <laughs> the other cheekbone and the bridge of my nose. Okay, and now the last step, or almost the last step. Um, there it is. I like to moisturize my lips with like a lip balm. First, before I put on some lipstick. Okay. And then we usually do either a red lip or um, like something nude almost or with a little bit of color, like a little bit of pink. My personal favorite is the Velvet Teddy from MAC, so I will put that on. We usually do the same lipstick, everybody, but now I'm just using my favorite, if I have the chance to use my favorite. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Again! <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. And it goes on so smooth if you put on um, a lip balm before you put on your lipstick and it feels amazing. So that's it for my basic makeup or my official practice makeup. I hope you liked it and of course you don't have to do like the same thing as I do. It's just for inspiration and I'm definitely not a professional or I don't try to be so I just hope you like it and kisses from Sweet Mozart.